Hi, good morning. This is the version for April that I'm using, but it could be anything really. It could actually be any Linux system. Yeah, because we're going to talk about software. So in Arc Linux, we call that the flagship XFC Openbox i3. That's this one. You can install more and more and more software. Just go scroll already over them so you can have a look at the names. And in um, Arc Linux D, you'll have a very minimal version, which is just empty. And also on Calamaris, you can decide what to install or you don't install anything and enter in a black, up sc black screen, like almost like Arch Linux is, right? But it, you get this graphical Calamaris installer to have something um, tangible already, something graphical already. And then in the black screen, when you reboot, you git clone a particular Arc D GitHub and install everything with scripts, with your scripts maybe. That's an option. And Arc B is going to give you again a Calamaris installer, a graphical thing. You boot up and you have an actual desktop you boot up into. But meantime, you'll see you have lots and lots of choices of software. And that's this video. What kind of software could you add? What's, uh, what is all this software about? And that's your homework. You should check out the toy store um, that Linux is. It's all for free. It's all download, install, use, and it's up to you to get to know your toys. And it's all in the store. So where are my stores? What are you talking about? Well, it's in the software manager. So we have here the software button here. And you have in, in this particular uh, ISO, we have added the GNOME uh, software store. Let's call it like that. It has another name. Probably can figure it out here as well about software. Mm, they don't say, but I think it's GNOME dash software. Anyway, you see an overview of all the nice stuff there is. And we did not include everything and all of it. So there's even more things. So this is a a clean install. I just installed all the software from Calamaris that's on there and did my thing, right? So there is still more things that are not blue. Blue means it's installed, right? So there's so much more. And it's up to you to figure out what you like, what you, you want as productivity, for instance, right? So there are new things in here that you may never have seen that are now installed on the flagship if you use Calamaris and you say click 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 I want to see it all then it's gonna take a while because you need to download all the software it's not on the ISO luckily otherwise we'll have something like five gigs or something for an ISO that's just not uh, no <laughs> we're not gonna do that but you need of course internet because it's gonna download it and it will take a while so I just went to watch some tele yesterday and tomorrow morning, this morning, here we are, morning here in Belgium. I just take a look. It's okay. Everything is here. So, um, software. That's one thing. We have that particular package. There's also Discover on Plasma, which I can't show at this point in time. Unless, of course, I did a Ctrl-Alt-E, guys. Don't forget. Still people ask me, hey, can I install i3 on GNOME? Sure desktop installer, install i3, install any of the 15, right? So I could install Plasma and then show Discover. Not the point of the video, but it's important to remember we have the Arc Linux Tweet tool, install any desktop starting from any ISO. Okay, what else is there? So Discover GNOME software, of course, PAMEC. I've just made a video to make sure that everybody has these icons back, so the list, the browse. Browse the photo in the video. Oh, Blender. Oh, Blender is installed. So everything that's red is already installed. You can have a look and scroll through. From here, uh, you can go and, and, and just click it. Install. What's this? Baka M player. Let's try. Boom. And so on and so on. Keep trying. Keep trying. And then at some point in time, you decide. You say, I want to have that one, that one, and that one. And you never, probably never look back. We are all, all the same. We are habit creatures. And we figured it out in one particular application and we're going to keep using that particular application. So this is the time to say, maybe, maybe I should take a look at all the goodies that are out there and try something else for a change. So 
that's something different, right? So that's that's something we do not have in, in, in Apple or in Windows. It's all paid, Apple Store, pay this, pay that, and so on. So we have here all the goodies to just click, 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 and say, let's try some more. But let's see what uh, Calamaris already provides at this point in time. I've made another video to show you that as well, that you can go to categories, repositories, and this is our selection already. So everything is installed except this one. Why? Because this is the one from Microsoft and there's another one that's open source, code. Code, and Visual Studio Code is exactly the same. So Pac-Man says, uh-uh, one of them, not two of them. It's the same like LibreOffice, still and stable. Same files, just stable version, beta version. No, they occupy the same space on your computer. You just can't install them, choose. That's why this one is blue. So check out WhatsApp is in there, WPS Office, Fiber Tor. There are things you won't recognize. And there are also things I will never use probably, but it's there for you as a choice. It's um, not for me, it's for you, right? You need to find out and figure out, do I want that particular candy from the store? It's here, this is our store, pre-packaged, fast, uh, installable, it's not to be built. This is all super fast because it's already uh, built for you. So in here as well, lots of things in here. So go check it out. Those are the things. And this is what we mean What as soul of Arclinx. This is the look. This is a hard work of two and a half years, I guess, or almost three, it feels like three anyway. So here are all the Arclinx things that we put. All right, so that's a way to have a look at it. And um, so we have GNOME software, we have Discover, we have PAMAC. You could go also for a yay and then figure out, I want to do something with music, MP3, right? I don't know, just out of the top of my head. This is your selection. What do you wanna do exactly? and then find your tool like that. That's also a possibility. All right, um, I think I have the feeling I forgot something. So we have the software, the store and discover on Plasma. We have updates. If you type update, you have PAMAC. All right, PAMAC software update. Uh, we figured out the icons in another video, how to get that back and then uh, we looked at the repositories, that's cool as well, that's an extra, but, um, well, I think there's one extra, but I still have the feeling I forgot something to tell you, but anyway, we have Octopi, uh, you can install it from your Calamaris, and at this point of speaking right now, right, you can always install candies right now packages is just a click away but it will be there on your system so octo and so on so it's now on our repo it's not normal right it's not normal how do you know it's not normal if you do oh yay then you see it's actually coming from AUR and we've prepackaged it for you so octopi so this is another way to take a look at things. Uh, I do like this particular one. Um, so this as well, here you can have a look. This is what Arclinx is bringing, right? All the software. And that's just this little guy that's not installed. That's brown and the rest is all green. Um, so that's a neat th little thing. I need to figure out this, this uh, system myself, this, this application. So the cache cleaner here, repository editor, we have our own uh, at Linux tweet tool to edit pacmac pam pacman.com so saying databases get latest distro news uh install local package so a lot of things and a new application and uh, that was already asked by users could we have octopi so that's here it's also nice maybe you have a different look this is the arc theme that's applied that's because of our knowledge how to do it with a quantum, that's the tip, quantum. All right, so 
that's another way to get to your, your store, your, your data. So what do we have after a clean installation of Arc Linux? I selected everything in Calamares and let's go by accessories. So I'm just going, I'm not going to launch everything. It would be too silly. You launch everything, right? So Albert is an, a way to launch things, uh, applications. Um, we have Arc Linux Tweet Tool. Please take a look. Belina Etcher, so we can actually burn our ISOs with Etcher, Minstick, which is our which is our standard one, and Suze Image Writer. I've been testing both of them, or the three of them out. It's uh, all working, so that's great. But as a general rule, if people have problems and you see these black screens that stop, you say burn the ISO with Etcher. It works on Windows, it works on Mac, it works on Linux. You don't have to ask what system are you on. Burn it with Etcher. Bitwarden to guard your um, your passwords and so on. A secure password thing like LastPass. And um, just jumping, I'm looking at the data, the new new uh, um, packages, the new uh, candies we have. So code uh, is installed. So the sudo pacman minus s code so the open source free source not the one from microsoft and pass again password manager so there are a few password i think three or four password managers added in calamaris guake is there so um that's an, a terminal so we have a lot i think around 10 terminals to choose from you just select one you like i just selected all of them right so backup system here key pass again key pass uh, manager leaf pads why not um, next cloud desktop is I think lost uh, lost in from discord uh, somebody asked hey that's actually the last thing I need to install it's in it's on Calamaris you just click now notepad QQ is there so edit source I, can, I know you can read here right? so uh, some of them are obvious this is another terminal and by the way, if you're working on Windows, Notepad++ is a very good one to edit files, PHP, PHP, and MySQL stuff. SUSE, here is the other one. So Image Writer is another USB uh, burner. So all of them work. This is our standard one, USB Image Writer, which actually is coming from Linux Mint. MintStick has worked for me in the past seven years. You can see it on Eric the 30, 30 icons, I've burned like 100 ISOs or so from a variety of distros. It all works. Development, Atom, brackets is in. So code is here again. Fluid, it came, came with some other um, application, not sure which one. GUI, uh, Genie was there. Uh, Gura ahead, Git ahead, sorry. I do need to get my better glasses, I think. Git ahead, Git Fiend, Git G, and Git Kraken. All good stuff, right? Uh, choose one. Uh, personally, I, I like Git Find, uh, Fiend, I think it's called Git Fiend. Anyway, um, this is maintained by me, so always gonna be the last version, as well as, of course, the others. But here I'm the maintainer, and here I'm just a builder. That's the difference. IntelliJ is there to develop. Again, develop, develop, K develop. Notepad QQ is here as well. I'm gonna fix this icon, I hate it. So after working on Calamars and after adding all these candies to our store or our candy store or repository, right? Um, some of them are not known by Sardi and Surfing icons. Luckily, I am the maintainer of Sardi and Surfing icons. So in no time, we'll have new icons for the missing ones. Sysprof is something to record your um, what's happening on your machine. And then the games, I've added a lot of games. Armageddon, Advance, Astro Menace, Block Attack, Checkers. And we were discussing Discord, uh, what's the best chess thing, right? So Knights, Knights is there. <laughs> and Chromium, BSU, Tux, um, Tux Racer. Free Sif, you see, I have to create icons for those guys, Hedge Wars. Lutris is in, Minecraft is in, Neverball quite amusing and quite addictive. Steam was already in, we had it already, Xenotic, I've made videos about it, kind of like it. If I want to just sit back and have some fun. 
Blender is here, Darktable, Digicam, and so on. That's new Calibre to watch ebook viewers and all that to even um, transform ebooks from EPUB to Mobi and all those, to those kind of things. I was busy with that uh, four or five years ago, I think. Carbon is here, Krita is here, the Reader, RRF, M Comics to watch comic books, to read comic books on your PC. I'd rather read them in the sun, but hey, it's possible. And Scribus and show photo, internet stuff, Brave, Chromium, Discord. Yeah, of course, we are using Discord to chat with you guys, right? So join us. Falcon, Geary, Hex Chat in sync. Connecting to somebody else's PC. Um, reading RSS feeds. You can actually, well, I can, I'm gonna include this one. You can actually super simple add HTTPS and then say arcolinux.com. Boom. How to in Skype, uh, install Skype and Arcolinux and use it. That was the last article I created. Then how to install and use Zoom to connect to people. All right. You have a application to add websites to the list and you never miss out on an article because it's on your system. It's, it gets there and all you have to do is, is run it and click it and say, okay, TeamViewer is in, is it? Okay, cool. So that's what you can do, could do, must do, whatever. <laughs> uh, where was I? <laughs> was this here? I think, yeah. So Microsoft Teams is in, obviously, for obvious reasons, we went all out in communication software. We're stuck at home, we can't uh, leave the house. Uh, so what do we do? We communicate with uh, online apps and Microsoft Teams is one of them. So if at work or then I can actually work on Alex rather than on Windows. Opera is here, Pigeon Internet Putty was like, like the past, you know. I did teach at one point in time all this stuff with Putty. So I thought, hey, what the heck, why not? So I know I know there are students, actual students on informatics that are using uh, Articlinks. So that's probably gonna be awesome for those guys. But it's a toy, you install it or you don't. It's This is not gonna be on the ISO at all, right? So Articlinux stays the same. If you don't install anything else in all the screens, you'll just get the Articlinux from two years ago, so to speak, right? So it's still the same Articlinux as always. You can just add more software to it, and that's what we call making the flagship a cruise ship. That's it. Cute browser is here, Remina again to connect, uh, Riot talk to each other, Skype, oh, of course, talk to each other. Slack, well, talk to each other, but then in a team kind of um, connection, in the sense that we can make teams from a division of the company, we can make a team from the whole company, depending how big your company is, of course. With a thousand people, I would not recommend it. I would take a division, but uh, stuff like that. Check it out. Steam is here, play games, Steam Viewer. You are um, helping somebody else in Japan. We, we neither of us can leave the home, but I can ask, install Team Viewer, give me your code, give him a login, and I log into his system and I help him. So that's gonna work as well. This is actually <coughs> our thing. This is an Arco Linux Team Viewer package because it's you need to do a lot of stuff before it even works. So that's all taken care of. Click, it works. Telegram is here, Tiger VNC viewer. So again, connect to somebody else's computer. Tor browser, you know that one. Uh, Fiber, uh, voice over IP. Again, communication, communication, communication. What's that? Wire, communication. Uh, Wireshark, you know the network traffic analyzer. The guys in applied informatics first year need to learn all about that. Multimedia, all kind of stuff to have some fun and music and uh, webcam, transcode, so change the codecs of a particular file, movie, music, 
making videos Kodi is interesting. It's an interesting thing. If you install Kodi, remember that you have at when you log out, you have at the top right, it says Kodi. And when you do that, you stuck inside Kodi. There's nothing else in, in your life than Kodi. There's no tune on, there is no browser, there's nothing there, there's just Kodi. So that's an interesting uh, thing to know, but maybe you get there by accident, right? So logging in uh, in Kodi itself. And then you say, what? where is my desktop? Well, get out, log out and log in as XFC, not as Kodi. Some music and all that, OBS Studio. Plax Media Player is there as well. Praga, some players, Radio Tray is fun. It ends up with a little antenna in here and listen to the radio. Spotify, okay. Office, a lot of Office stuff. So you decide what's office is good for you. I mean, how can we ever decide from all this, this list of great applications, right? It's up to you to figure that one out. Again, an EPUB file editor here. And there we are. And all the rest is the settings of XFCE, the system settings and the WPS. And um, well, Actually, our menu is a little bit too small. So when you install, you need to be drag it a little bit up. So we see the WPS office. So now we see it all. So that's um, the candy store completely installed. It's all good for us. I mean, you choose whatever you want to um, install and, and work with. It's a choice. And that's great and we have a large large amount of choice in linux and of course we um, we want you to provide that freedom of choice and inside calamars you just click i want this i want that i want this and i want that and when you reboot your software your favorite software that you like and love is gonna be there all right enjoy <laughs>